So we're leaving Sengelsen with Bjorn and Anders and the bosses, Brynjar, is that right? Mm. You're the boss. Yeah. I've been fishing with your father many years yeah. and with you a few times. Yeah. So here we go. We are ready for the first week, first night and first we go to Mikkeli for dinner. So just hang on. days and I must say it's just fantastic with uh, one of the most famous salmon pools in the world right that side some big fish caught by the Duke of Roxbury and this is where we eat really really nice place we're gonna start up in Satsu and we're gonna stay at the camp first day we're gonna fish Satsu and uh, we're gonna fish from Barilla up to Steinfoss and then go to Satsu and stay the night and second day we're gonna do Sarikoski and Gamusandia come down to Mikli where we're gonna stay a couple of days fish then Mikli and uh, down to Gilvaniska and we go down later on in the week and we fish from Gilvo and all the way down to Stengelsen where we're gonna stay and our last days we'll do what's most productive like okay Arit, Yora and uh, Langstilla It's our first night and we start in Sandia on Barilla and this is fishing up there then we uh, will go up and try Vaniva, uh, one really good place, and then we're at Steinfossen, and then we go up in Sautso. And uh, personally, looking forward to Steinfossen, of course, is one of my favorite places. Uh, but also to fish Vaniva in, in Sautso. I've never been there this early, I've never been on the river upstream river this early fishing rapers a few times uh, late June and early July it's the last day of June now and the fish are running and there are fish all over so um, even though there is few fish in Sandia still we have a good chance I think this is it This is the place. And screw this out, too. So, we got one right down in Steinfossen. And I'm just holding it and we're rowing it up. 
it's coming like a dog up here and I'll try to film a little myself and we have no idea how big this fish is not too fast boys shit coming with us nicely up 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 yep So han var precis vid sidan på sten. Ja. Yeah. Han såg lurt, vet du. Took right on the side of the stone. Where I hooked many fish. And these boys are just doing a fantastic job. Det var ju öppet. Det var ju öppet. Man följer med. <laughs> Vämspar. Söka en flyg. Du kan fortsätta filma lite. Ja, jag filmar. And it took right down, far down, close to the stone. And it pulled and pulled and pulled. Or she did. Beautiful conditions. Look how fat they are. And it took about a corva. One meter wild female. And uh, we will let it go now. Come on, baby. Letting the bubbles go. And uh, see, you got some bubbles. Normally, they don't want to go until they release all the bubbles. That's good. Here we go. Now all the bubbles are gone. No, 
box yet. There we go. So now we go. Last bubbles. Wants to go. And we let it go. Come on, baby. Good. First one. One meter. 10, 11 kilos. Female. Just in the right spot. This year there's no fish caught in Valeniva, but uh, must be a chance. We still got some snow on the bank here. Here's the famous pool, probably the most famous on the river. And here is this crazy Harald doing the salmon dance. <laughs> He's still waiting to get one. And they're leaving. And I'm gonna fish it from the other side. And of course I'm gonna tie on a Mikkeli Blue. <laughs> I just have to. This is where the Mickey Blue was born. And uh, the old pine tree is right there. Classic place where I had one on the Mickey and then I had one on near Mickey down there. And then the Mickey Blue was born after Hawkan caught a 30 pounder. My rod or anything. And um, hopefully we get one here today. Anders is fishing down in near Mikkel. Fishing a Patagorba and intermediate with a sink three tip. I have a fan bar woman in lamb and fishing hard off. We move by the full latte. I'm gonna go back the far down. I feel. Ah! 
Hi. Hey. Hey. Well, we are on the lower part of Soros Neva and I fished the uh, 850 grains and a big patagorba and this fish took on the retrieve and I just hate when they take on the retrieve it's so difficult you never know if they're well hooked or so but we lost it and uh, but um, had a couple of good jumps and some action but right now I'm a bit bitter Here we are under fishing in Agorva. And it's a big long pool and we're gonna split it. So he fishes down half and I do the bottom half this time. Hopefully he gets one now. He's not been on a roll. Uh, I don't know if I have either even if I hooked a few more fish but it's been tricky so far. Not many fish running and uh, they uh, haven't really stayed on for us. So, today's the day. And there's hooked one, good one. Looks like 15 kilos. Ja. Ja. Go down to Björn. Go down to Björn. Go down to Björn. And 12 kilos. I think 25 pounds. Very good fish. Look perfect. In the yes, <laughs> first alta salmon. Yes, first alta salmon for me. Very good. Tell us what fly. It's a banana lion. It's a lion. Why are you shaking? Uh, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Fish very hard for this one. I don't really like to have a tough time when I'm fishing. I prefer to catch fish. You just did? Yes, I just did. Good start to today. Yes, very good start. Fishing at Ravisharra, place I never fished before. Big fish place, they say. And we're on a heavy line. And a Patagorva. Now we're going down from Avicharra down to Neesharra. Where are we going to have lunch? Or whatever you call it, 12 o'clock in the night. Here it's lunch. Oh. 
So last day on the mighty Alta, we meet Jasper, <laughs> Patagonia ambassador. <laughs> Two Patagonia ambassadors. Fellow, in this, fellow ambassador. <laughs> in the same place. Yeah. So first time in the, on the Alta, eh, hey, Jasper? It is, it is the first time. And I, to be honest, I never, I never thought that this would happen. Um, mm -hmm. On, especially on a week like this. Yeah. I, uh, to say that I've been dreaming about fishing the Alta yeah. is so obvious that, I mean, every single salmon fisherman in the world yeah. dreams about fishing the Alta. That's and, what we uh, do. Oh, and okay. yeah, and especially on a, on a really prime week like this. Yeah. So tell yeah. me, what, what did you think about it? How, what's your experience? Just a short one. I mean, we can sit there all night yeah. and talk about the Alta, but What's your impression? It, it, it's an incredible river. It, it, it truly is an incredible river. I, um, the pools are legendary. Everybody knows some of the pools, no. uh, the names of the pools. And, uh, and to be here is just magical. And you caught some good fish? I caught, I caught um, the biggest one of my, my week was 15 kilos. And, uh, and the second biggest tonight was 12 and a half. Yeah. So, so nothing absolutely massive because, as we know, Alta has has the potential to produce some massive fish, but uh, but incredibly beautiful fish. And uh, and the fact that the hydropower dam has caused so much destruction on the uh, on the wild salmon population of the river Alta, which is the most famous, most magnificent river in the world, is uh, is is evidence to. Uh, and now you're sitting here with a criminal that's been convicted, <laughs> trying to, to, to fight the fish farming industry, which is probably the biggest, or not probably, it is the biggest threat to the Alta. Absolutely, today. absolutely. And, um, we, and you know, it's, uh, the, the genetics is changed on this fantastic river because of the fish farming industry. And, you know, we really need to fight it. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the fact that, um, the fact that in, in supermarkets they're selling Norwegian salmon for for nothing. It's it's yeah. sometimes the cheapest animal protein there is yeah. is proof of how how poor the business model is, how how incredibly damaging, incredibly harmful it is. And um, and people just need to be more aware. Yeah. We need to talk more about it. All the anglers, the whole angling community needs to uh, to spread the word. And social media is a great tool for that because yeah. everybody has an audience. Every yeah. single, for some, the audience is bigger, like for yourself and, and, and for myself. For some, it's slightly smaller, but it doesn't matter. Just speaking about it, sharing articles, sharing information on social media is, yeah. uh, is one key to, uh, to changing the, the ways of, of consumers. And, and uh, one thing everybody can do is stop eating farmed fish from open pens. Absolutely. It's yeah. a personal choice, but you can do it, and, and you can do it to protect the wild fish. Yeah. Mikke, where are you? I'm at Oke Yarder. First time in my life, first, first time walking down. This guy just came up and and nailed it. And I saw him boil and he pulled the loop and uh, it was perfect. Which line, Mika? I'm on an intermediate with a clear tip. And uh, and a Vahaniva. Maybe eight, ten centimeter Vahaniva. Coming in you're already up here. Swimming upstream. Good with the new reel, it's so soft. I don't even have to break. Oh this guy is going down now. I think we have to go down in the deep water. Shot, 
Vi prövar här eller ska vi gå ner? Vi prövar här. This guy is tired now, I think. You want me to try? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna give him some line now. Okay, it's yours. Good. Very good. It's got some marks. As you can see, it's still really nice proportions. Three seven winter female. Important for the river. And uh, we'll try to release it. We're sitting out here after a fantastic fishing week and we're not talking about the best flies or what lines, we're talking about the threats to the wild fish and fish farming and damming and pollution and you know it's kind of sad. But I think now we go inside, we grab a big whiskey and we <laughs> celebrate the river and the good fishing and then we can talk about the water. not guaranteed that in 10 years or 20 years we have these wild salmon populations so we really do have to fight for the uh, for the wild salmon <laughs>